energy is a physical concept. There is plenty of energy. Uh, if you look at the situation uh, from the sun, we find that simply the sunlight, directly as a sunlight or indirectly like wind or other activities, represent 100,000 times the energy we're using today. At the newly founded Institute for Advanced Studies on Sustainability in Potsdam, Carlo Rubia is working to develop the energy strategy of the future. In his vision, coal, which still generates over 40% of Germany's electrical power, will be phased out entirely. We are producing a piece of coal, we are emitting some CO2, the CO2 goes in the atmosphere. How long does it live? Very few people give a correct answer, and the correct answer is absolutely incredible. The average lifetime of CO2 in the atmosphere is 30,000 years. A major fraction of the, of the, of the fire which Caligula burnt in Rome during the time which was there, still in the atmosphere. Rubia wants to create a new global concept for sustainable energy. A development of renewable energy implies development of the means and ways to transport the energy from the places where this is happening to the place where it is needed. To transport just with classical high voltage power lines uh, such a huge amount of energy is not possible and we are working one interesting suggestion, which is superconductivity. Thus far, though, industry has shown little interest in developing superconductors that could transport solar energy over long distances with virtually no losses. I think people like uh, Europe in general, and Germany in particular, should realise that renewable energy can also be a, a fantastic business for the future, provided that you are ahead of the others. But what about nuclear power? Will it continue to play a role in the energy of the future? And so if you ask yourself, will that in two or three or four hundred years from now, people still use nuclear energy for nuclei, the answer will be yes. But will not be today's nuclear. It will be nuclear based on different principles. There is one form of nuclear energy which is now being developed, which is fusion. If you like, at the present moment, dreams. But I think uh, scientists have to dream because only but with dreams that you can develop uh, the way of the future. The new Potsdam think tank will bring together top international scientists from a variety of disciplines to engage in creative research. One day, Carlo Rubia hopes this collaboration will help make the dream of global sustainable energy a reality.